Hey guys, welcome back to our neck of the woods. Today's video is just going to be a little short one. We're going to go ahead and pull the engine cover off of the uh, Cayman. We're going to take a look at that air oil separator and catch can that I recently just installed. Uh, we're going to see how much oil we've caught. Um, from the previous video I made about two months ago, I actually only had that uh, oil catch can on for about 300 miles. I know I kept saying in the video it was under 1,000, which it is, but... Uh, again, it was only uh, about 300 miles um, since the actual oil change. I have 1100 miles on the car in the past two months and That catch can obviously has been dumped uh, about 800 miles ago So let's go ahead and pull it off and let's see how much oil that we've caught um, We also need to obviously get the house build going and get this garage finished because this thing sitting outside just sucks this brand new wing brand new painted and every time it rains i literally just have a swimming pool back here that collects and then once that water dries out it uh starts not affecting the paint but uh there's mud and just everything else all over this thing so let's go ahead and pull this engine cover off and see how bad we're looking on a side note any of you porsche guys out here on the forums if you do have any one of the wings uh, from Getty or uh, NR Auto or anything, let me know if you've upgraded uh, these shocks. Uh, give me a part number uh, since obviously the extra weight doesn't allow it to stand up. And uh, obviously you have to do uh, something like that to keep it supported so you're not banging yourself in the head. Uh, let me know something that I can get to replace these. All right, so engine covers off. Uh, things seem to be looking okay. Intake looks like it's holding up. Looks like their uh, reflective shielding that they come with the kit is still holding up. I've got that sticking to half of the plate that blocks off airflow and stuff from the filter on the outside. And that uh, uh, stickiness is kind of still sitting on the factory kind of carpet type material here. I was afraid that was gonna start peeling off, but it actually is still sticking quite well. So intake looks good. Uh, obviously the engine bay doesn't look good. I know I'm gonna get crap for that Especially around like stuff like that. That's just an absolute massive amount of debris that's coming out and This I believe starts with um, Problems when you have oil coming into your system. It comes into the manifold uh, when the engine has some pressure in it or it starts kind of leaking out uh, from seals and stuff like that it mixes with obviously dirt and stuff in the air and then you obviously get that built up kind of nasty tar debris grease type material so uh, we'll eventually do a full clean on this um, one day though this is gonna have to come off uh, check seals replace them so that doesn't keep happening uh, but let's go ahead and get this engine uh, catch can off uh, haven't taken it off since that last video. Let's see if I can do this one-handed. Uh, hold on, I'm gonna have to get two hands on it. I made it pretty tight. All right, I just cracked it. Again, this catch can has been on for 800 miles. The uh, first time I dumped it was only about 300 miles. And right now, there's 1,100 total from when I changed the oil and all that. So let's see, 800 miles in the catch can. How much would we have gone into the motor and been burning through the combustion chamber if this wasn't installed? So 800 miles of street driving, uh, highway, not going too crazy. It's the middle of summer, so this is seeing nothing but 80 to 90 degree days, so there should be no condensation or anything, but that's 800 miles on a brand new, brand new air, air oil separator from Porsche. That is quite a bit. Um, probably not that much more than the 300 miles. Maybe a little bit. Uh, I'll have to go back and look at that uh, video. Obviously, you can see the oil was up to about there. I think two months ago on that 300 miles, the oil was more down here. So, eh, I'd say it's about double then. But again, if you guys got a uh, cold air intake and you can get it on these cars, 
that's a perfect spot for that to not be uh, putting all that gunk and oil into your intake system which like I said when that oil sits in there it's going to want to try to bleed out through any sleeves start coating the outside of everything dirt sticks to it your engine bay looks like crap one other thing I wanted to add a lot of you are probably going to watch this and be like oh your car's got 97,000 miles on it and it's got 98,100 on it now of course you're going to have oil on a catch can and stuff like that wrong I have put a brand new catch can on a lot of brand new vehicles that I've owned over the years. Um, the last one was a Dodge Ram that I had, brand new. Put a catch can on it from the back of the, or down by the motor, uh, the block where it went to the PVC system and I tapped in. Brand new 5.7 Hemi after a month or two, same thing, just an absolute massive amount of oil. Uh, I've installed them on two WRXs that I've owned. One was a 09, one was an 11 brand new now because you're turbocharged now you're actually forcing more air into parts of the motor that are going to expel and push out uh, more oil uh, by the pvc system so again i installed ones on those caught tons of oil all the time so it does not matter if your car is brand new it doesn't matter if it's reaching 100,000 miles you will have oil in that amount whether you have a factory aos or this is actually the first car I've ever owned after about 30 vehicles that actually has a factory AOS. All the other ones just run a tube directly from the block up to the intake where the PVC system lives. And if you install a catch can in that line, you will get that much oil. So installing one on anything that you own is a good idea. So I hope you guys enjoyed that. We'll see you next time.